Welcome back, TW fans. Thomas here bringing you another episode of What's New at Tackle Warehouse. We are in January. It is cold. We're not even quite spring dreaming yet. But hey, if you're looking to spruce up your tackle, maybe uh, redo some of your lineup here, we got some cool stuff for you. And we even got some stuff to keep you warm this winter time. So we're going to jump right in with a couple of new reels from Abu Garcia. First up, we have the Abu Garcia Revo SXLP casting reel. This thing is sweet. So it's got this nice durable yet lightweight aluminum body. Feels really good in the hand and it's actually using Abu Garcia's asymmetrical body design. It allows them to give you a bigger spool without overdoing the profile on this one. So it still remains really, really palmable, but you can hunt, hold a ton of line on this thing. So really nice. They have their cool new casting system that actually pushes the line guide out farther, kind of reduces that extreme angle of the line coming off of your spool. So you're just gonna get really long casts out of this thing, which is nice. Handle side, I love it. We got some oversized handle with this 90 millimeter handle and some oversized knobs to go with it. So it just feels really good in hand when you're cranking down on that big fish. Speaking of that big fish, they're hooking you up with 25 pounds of max drag. So this thing has a ton of power to get those bruiser fish out of cover. And like I said, it still remains really, really lightweight. Smooth tool, it's got a 10 bearing system in there. So I mean, just really reliable performance, nice smooth feel to it. Now let's take a look at the spinning side of things. So we got the new Abu Garcia Revo XSP spinning reel. Another killer reel here. So this one, you can kind of tell off this body, they're pulling from that Xenon uh, design. So you're getting kind of that really modern, low profile, compact, lightweight body. I really, really enjoy that. Feels good on those finesse sticks. It's winter time. If you're out there catching fish, it's probably coming on some finesse stuff, making every bite count. Maybe it's one of those swim baits. Probably not gonna use this for that, but uh, no, still a killer finesse reel. Really, really lightweight. Seven bearings in this one, so it's still really smooth. Feels good in hand. It has that tacky grip on there, so all weather gripping. If you are fishing it this winter, in some rain, maybe even some snow, who knows, or springtime, or even those dog days of summer, that tacky grip is gonna feel really good just year round. So a couple killer new reels from Abu Garcia, you're gonna wanna check them out. All right, now let's look at some stuff we're gonna fish with. So we started with some finesse reels here. Now let's take a look at some finesse rigs. So from Hog Farmer Baits and Tactical Bassin, they teamed up to give us the mini flex rig. So you may already be familiar with the flex rig. Well, now we got a downsized option. So this is gonna be perfect for those really clear water fisheries, highly pressured fisheries, which anymore these days, it seems like every body of water is highly pressured. So this is where this thing's gonna shine. Everyone knows how productive the A-Rigs are. Well, now we can do it in a downsized version. So those pressured lakes, you're still gonna be able to capitalize on those A-Rig bites. So we got some thinner wire arms on here. It's just gonna help your swim baits pulsate a little bit better, but they're still durable. So when you get that bruiser fish on there, two fish, three fish on there, it's not gonna fail, break, bend on you. It's still gonna stand true. You're gonna get those fish back to the boat. On this one here, it's the four blade version. We also have the blade list, the standard mini flex, flex rig. So you're gonna get a little bit of extra flash out of this one, really kind of giving that disco ball effect. And with these kind of finesse style uh, rigs where they're smaller, you're just getting a really dense bait fish, bait ball profile to it. So fish cannot resist that, whether it's winter time, it's springtime, whenever you're throwing these things, because they really are year round tools anymore. Uh, it's gonna give you that really dense bait ball uh, approach, that, that look, that fish just can't resist. They're gonna gobble this thing up. So killer couple of finesse rigs. If you're fishing those clear water reservoirs, whatever the case may be, you're gonna wanna add those to your arsenal for sure. All right, let's jump into a couple of cool plastics. A couple of cool creature baits. They're a little bit similar, but they're also different and kind of specialized for certain things. So first up, we got the Missile Baits Chunky D. You guys may remember the Mini D, really, really prolific plastic. Well, anglers love that thing and they wanted a full size version. Missile Baits hooking us up with the Chunky D. So similar, pretty much the same as the Mini D, but bigger. So you're gonna have this nice kind of robust body on here that's gonna accept in your flipping hooks. Uh, maybe you're using it on a stouter jig. That dense, larger body is gonna accommodate those bigger, stouter hooks a little bit better. And you're still getting those same aggressively flapping appendages down here on the bottom. So this thing is gonna kick like a mule as you're dragging it along the bottom, hopping it along the bottom, you know, pulling it on your Carolina rig, however you're throwing this thing. Got some appendages on the side for some auxiliary action to it to really call those predators in, especially for fishing near cover, in cover. Killer missile baits, color designs on them. I love this one, it's kind of like a bi, bi color on here. You got that watermelon on the back and kind of a darker black green pumpkin on the front. Get some red flake in there. So they got the killer missile baits colors that we all love, but now we got in a little bit bigger platform. So you definitely want to check this one out once those, uh, those plastic creature baits come back into play a little bit later this year. All right, another creature bait. This time from Jenko. We got the Jenko the bird creature bait. So when the fishing gets tough, Flip them the bird. You can flip this thing into any of those dense vegetations. It's got a killer body that's tapered just for that. You can see we got kind of a narrow front, so it's gonna slide through that vegetation really, really well. Just like the, the chunky D we were looking at, has a dense yet soft body that's gonna accept those larger hooks 
easily. And you're still gonna get a ton of action out of these front flapping craws that are just really gonna kick super hard as you're dragging it along or flipping it into every little bush as you're, you're running along the bank here. Killer colors as well. I mean, these things are just a couple of really nice flipping, pitching, jigging, Carolina rigging plastics that uh, I'm excited to do again uh, once the season warms up a little bit. All right, let's take a look at some hard baits. Again, something we're probably gonna have to wait on for a little bit. We got some top water ones to start with. Uh, new from Geekack, we have the Geekrack Akasik Pencil Walking Bait. So this is actually a, a collaboration between the team at Geekrack and the Akashi team. So world famous fishery in Japan, or team in Japan that fishes there. Uh, killer bait, so you got an aggressive taper on this. And you can see we have this nice bulbous head up front and then it really tapers down towards the tail end. So this one's gonna sit tail end in the water. You're gonna get tremendous action out of this one. Really kind of glides across the surface super well. As you're walking it, you can walk it fast and tight or you can slow it down. It really does glide back and forth. So you're getting kind of more of a, even though it's a smaller top water bait, you're getting a really big profile on the water, a lot of surface disturbance. Killer looks to this one, you know, you got the 3D eyes, the 3D gill plates, really, really nice paint jobs, and then these awesome treble hooks that have a slick gray coating on them. You know, really, really sticky sharp, so you're gonna get all those fish back to the boat that do blow up on this thing. So cool one. All right, we're gonna stick with that top water, but now we're actually going to the salt water side of things. So we got the Strike King Saltwater Sexy Dog Hard Knock Top Water Bait. This thing is cool. So the Sexy Dog has been around for a real, real long time, but now we have a salt water version. So the only difference between, I mean, you're gonna get the same hard knock uh, acoustic profile to it, the same killer action, great water disturbance, but the hardware is gonna be a little bit upgraded and you have some more saltwater themed colorways, you know, cho chosen by Strike Kings Pro. So you're gonna get these saltwater corrosion resistant hooks, split rings, hook hangers, all of it. So this thing is gonna be able to stand up to that big water, that aggressive salt water. So you're absolutely gonna be able to target some bass with this thing too, don't get me wrong. But this thing is gonna be great for our inshore fishermen, even some of our surf guys. I mean, this thing is killer for that and it's gonna stand up to that abusive salt water. So same thing, we got the Strike King Saltwater Red Eye Shad. The Red Eye Shad, I mean, a killer lipless bait that has been around for a long time. People have caught hundreds and hundreds of thousands of thousands of fish on this profile. Well, now we have that same saltwater hardware to go with it. So again, inshore fishermen, uh, surf guys, whatever you want to use this thing for in the corrosive saltwater, this thing's going to stand up to that abuse. Again, the same 4X uh, treble hooks on here, and they are saltwater rated. Same with the split rings and the hook hangers. So this thing is going to stand up to those salty, environments with toothy predators. So definitely check those out. The whole saltwater lineup from Strike King, cool saltwater colors to them as well. All right, we got a new one from Ryugi. Terminal side of things, we got the Ryugi Talisman Brutal Wacky Nico Hook. So same as their uh, Wacky Nico Hook that we already carry, but now it's using a little bit heavier gauge wire. So if you're you know, using your Wacky Rig or your Nico Hook and you wanna use it on maybe casting, maybe that new Abu Garcia casting reel, I mean, this thing is just gonna be a little bit bigger. It's gonna accept you know, even some braided lines, heavier fluorocarbons, or if you're just fishing near heavy cover and you need to be able to pull those fish away and you don't wanna worry about your hook bending, breaking, failing on you in any way, you can step up to this one. This one's gonna really stand up to some of that more, you know, snaggier cover without bending or breaking on you. So definitely check out this new one from Ryugi. All right, now we got some cool apparel to talk to you about from Hook. So with Hook, we got their Icon X cold front hoodie. So this thing's real nice. Got to see a kangaroo pocket up front. This one's gonna be kind of more for maybe spring or when the weather's kind of variable changing, where it still can get hot, but uh, you get some maybe chillier mornings or evenings, because you got this ventilated side and underarms here. So it'll still keep it cool. It's gonna be plenty breathable, but it's gonna give you a little bit of that warmth to it too. They have some warming fibers on here. You got a hood up top. So you're even gonna get a little bit of comprehensive protection from a head to a waist here. So cool new hoodie from them. Next, if you're looking for some wet weather protection, this thing I really like. So this is their Pursuit Jacket. This thing's really cool because it's really lightweight. I was surprised at how light it is and it's super packable. So if you want to stash this thing in your bag, stash this thing in your boat, stash this thing in your glove box, it can fit just about anywhere. Still giving you 10K waterproof and 10K breathability. So you're not going to overheat in this thing, but it's going to shed any of that moisture. Got a couple of hand warming pockets in here in case uh, that cold front comes through along with the weather. So just a cool way to keep you dry, especially when you're on the go. Cause like I said, this thing's really lightweight and packable. So I'm excited about picking up one of those. Now, if we're looking for some of that extreme cold weather protection, we still got you covered with the Tarpon Quilt Shacket. That's right, Shacket. This thing is real cool. So it's got a 60 gram fill to it. So it's gonna keep you plenty warm. Maybe you're doing some ice fishing, you know, in that ice shack, uh, or you're just on the water. You know, this thing is gonna keep you really, really warm, looks great, and it has this flannel lined interior. I mean, that thing is cozy as all get out. So I'm excited to use this one as well, especially for those real, real cold days. So we got all kinds of apparel. 
from spring to winter to wet time, they got you covered. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up this week's episode. We hope you enjoyed it. As always, if you wanna learn more about these products or to shop for them, make sure to click shop or the link in the description. And if you uh, let us know in the comments below which one of these baits you're most excited to, to use this spring, this summer, maybe this winter, some of these plastics or those reels. Anyway, let us know in the comments. We wanna hear from you guys. We'll see you all next week.